Welcome to another story by Mummy Imagination. Tonight's story is about three fairies, Chloe, Clea and Clem. So snuggle up, get your blankets on, nice and comfy with your pillows and get ready for the story. There are three fairies who live in the middle of the woods. Chloe, Clea and Clem. Chloe, Clea and Clem are always getting up to mischief. Early one morning, when Clem had woken up very early, before the sun rose, she woke her sisters and decided they should go on an adventure. They put on their fairy coats, their fairy hats, and their fairy boots. It was very cold this particular morning. They headed off down Candy Cane Lane towards town centre. Along the way, they were picking flowers from the gardens they passed. Everyone in Fairyland had the most beautiful gardens, full of colourful flowers, pinks, purples, yellows, blues, all the colours you can imagine. Once they had picked all the flowers they could hold in their arms, Chloe, Clea and Clem made them into beautiful little posies, wrapped with twine they found laying on the floor of an old barn. They tied the flowers to posts, pillars, doors, the town fountain, everywhere they could think of. Then Clem snuck into the old paper bark mill and with her really small fairy pen wrote, National Fairy Day. Take the day off from work and school and kinder and play all day. Then Chloe and Clea went about and tied them to all the flower posies around town. Later that day, when the three naughty fairies were dancing in the town fountain with all the other school fairies, the mayor of the town arrived, puzzled to see all the shops and schools and kindergartens closed and people dancing in the streets, even in the town fountain. He walked up to one of the flower posies and noticed the handwritten notes. Oh no, he recognised the handwriting. The fairies had been caught. For the next three days, the naughty fairies were ordered by law of the mayor to work in the bank, the bakery and the butcher's stores after school as a punishment. Clem, Clea and Chloe loved working in the bank, the bakery with the yummy bread and the butchers serving customers. It looked like these naughty fairies wouldn't learn their lessons today. And you never know, they may get up to mischief again. If you like this story and want to hear more about Chloe, Clea and Clem and their adventures, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Now, as our story has ended, it's time to drift off to sleep. Let's take three long breaths Slowly in, slowly out, slowly in, slowly out. Last one in and out. Feel your whole body relaxing sinking into your comfy bed. Feel your head relaxing, 
your neck relaxing, your shoulders, your arms. Taking one big more breath in and out. Sinking further into the bed. Now you can feel your legs relaxing and your feet relaxing. Even your toes. I want you to think about the muscles in your face. Your eyes are closed. Your cheeks are relaxed. Your tongue is laying softly in the bottom of your mouth. Your whole body is relaxing. Everything that happened today is over. Nothing matters now. Let your body sink into your comfy bed. While you continue to breathe in and out. Feeling like you're sinking into a big fluffy cloud. Imagine laying in the softest cloud that's as white as snow and having another cloud as a blanket and another cloud as a pillow. Keep relaxing. All your worries fading away in the wind. Feel the wind taking all your worries and problems away. As you slowly drift off to sleep. You're in your safe place. You're laying in your comfy cloud, falling deeper and deeper to sleep. Keep focusing on your breath. Laying in your cloud, knowing you are in your safe place and all your troubles have faded away. You are safe. You are loved. You are warm and cosy and happy. Sleep well and I will see you again soon. If you're still awake, I'll play some quiet music as you drift off to sleep. Good night.